The Rabbit Listened by Corey Dorfeld. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new. Something special. Something amazing. Taylor was so proud. But then, out of nowhere, things came crashing down. The chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it, cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking, so the chicken left. Next came the bear. Grrr, rawr. how horrible. I bet you feel so angry. Let's shout about it. Grrr, roar, grrr. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting, so the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. trump -da! I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. So the elephant also left. One by one they came, they came the hyena. <laughs> Let's laugh about it. The ostrich. Ooh. Let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo. Tsk, tsk. What a mess. Let's throw it all away. And the snake. Let's go down some knock down someone else's. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually they all left until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit, but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for somebody else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing.